Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my custom Nardole from the series 10 episode, The Pyramid at the End of the World. Before I get into the showcase, I'd just like to give a massive shout out to Scott Richards, also known as Gallifrey Customs on Instagram, for the incredible Nardole head. So the reason that I chose to do a Nardole figure was simply because we still don't have a Nardole action figure six years after his first appearance in The Husbands of River Song. But with this particular outfit, it's probably his most iconic outfit, with the orangey red duffel coat, the reddy brown chinos, and the light blue shirt. So to make this figure all you'll need is a B&M Harry Sullivan action figure. First thing I did do with the Harry Sullivan figure was remove the head and cut off the neck peg and then I glued down the actual head, smoothed out the gap between the neck and the body just with some milliput which did result in me losing the head articulation. But actually looking at the head, this was designed and 3D printed by Scott and you can tell that the sculpt itself is fantastic. It looks just like Matt Lucas and to be honest, I'm really hoping my paint apps have done this justice because the sculpt is just phenomenal. And also, I did repaint the hands just so the skin tone matched the face sculpt. Simple stuff. Moving on to the body, you might think that it is just a simple repaint, but there is a bit of chopping, a little bit of sculpting, and you're able to get a decent representation. It's not fully accurate, but for a custom, it'll do. The first thing I did was repaint Nardole's trousers with a reddish brown and the shoes in a lighter, dirty brown. After that, although I didn't need to, I did actually take the decision to repaint the shirt in a lighter blue, mainly because I was repainting everything else on this figure, so I thought I might as well just do it, to be honest. And then finally the duffel coat. So this was quite a challenge, to be honest. Although this isn't 100% accurate, I did try my best to replicate it. I did trim off the bottom of the actual jacket so it isn't as long as the jacket was. And then I simply moved on to sculpting the toggles and the hoops on the jacket as well, just to make it look more like a duffel coat. And also on the lower arms, although you probably won't actually notice it, on the Montgomery duffel coats they do have like a small patch on the bottom of their arms, so they're just there just for a little bit of added detail. I opted not to actually sculpt on the pocket on the side, mainly because the articulation for the arms is already hindered and if I was to start sculpting pockets on the actual arms would move past and the paint would probably get scratched off. Whilst I'm talking about painting I did choose to paint the jacket in a reddy orange and then give a black wash over the top and for the toggles and the loop as you can tell it was just a very light cream coloured for the string and then for the toggles just a light brown as well. Something very simple, but I do think it is very effective. And that's it. After years of wanting a Nardole figure, finally I have one in my collection and I'm quite happy with how it looks alongside my 12 Doctor and my Bill figures. And like I've already said, that probably wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for Scott. So again, just a huge shout out and a personal thank you. The head is superb, it looks just like Matt Lucas. I can't really praise the head sculpt any more than I have done. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all the usual stuff. And I shall see you next time for another Doctor Who video. So until then, goodbye for now. Don't forget to click below and subscribe. Well, how could I possibly forget that? For goodness sake. You've got the message, haven't you? Don't forget.